Welcome to the Mad Spideyverse. I'm Mad Spidey, and thank you once again for tuning into my channel. Today is going to be another one of my statue collection videos. If you've seen my statue collection videos before, you know the spiel. If you haven't, then let's get into it. So, my statue collection videos are based on my Bowen Designs amassed collection, I suppose you could call it. Um, pretty much Bowen Designs was the prevalent company back in the mid to late 90s to early 2000s. Like, obviously, before all the ones that are out now, you know, your side shows and your XMs and your iron statues and this and that and that and that and that. There's, there's a lot of them now. Uh, but yeah, Bowen Designs back in the day, basically they had the license for Marvel and just went absolutely nuts for a space of about 10, 15 years, roughly, maybe 20. I uh, can't quite remember the, the time frames, but yeah, it was sort of mid to late 90s to, I don't know, 2000. I think it might have been even up to like maybe even early 10s, like 2010, 2011, 12, somewhere around there. But anyway... They basically did three ranges over five or six phases. I think it was five phases. Uh, they did a mini bust series, a mini statue series, and a mini, and a full size statue series. With uh, the mini statues, I decided a long time ago I won't bother with them because they're literally just exactly the same as the full size statues in most cases, but just on a different scale. So I thought I'd stick to the mini bust and the full size, and I tried to. I tried to become a completist, but, it, you know, a lot of money, had to get most of them from overseas, shipping and currency conversion, and yeah. But anyway, I amassed quite a collection, showing you these, um, showing you one per video uh, as a video series. This is episode number 49, I believe. So, yeah, 49 different ones that I've already done, and there's a lot more to go. So, anyway, let's get stuck into it. I'll show you the box and the character we're going to do today, and it's Wendigo. So, the other thing to note with the Bowen designs is they did do quite deep dives into a lot of the like the characters from a lot of the series. Like obviously, Wendigo's you know been around since the the seventies. I think it was like Hulk one sixty two, one sixty five, somewhere around there was his first appearance. But with the actual unit itself, the trademark grey box of Bowen Designs, all the little marvelly sort of, you know, mashups and bits and pieces in the actual design. Uh, being a mini bust, they would always, they don't do this with the full size, but they'll give you a, a synopsis of the actual character itself. Generally, they'll give you the first appearance book um, as the first picture. In this case, it wasn't. It was fairly close. Uh, they've actually given you Hulk 180 because obviously he was part of that uh, that storyline. Uh, and then they'd also give you a book that is, you know, something a bit closer to the time of release of the statue. In this case, they obviously haven't. So they've, they've got an X-Men book that was done almost around the same sort of time, I think, maybe a little bit later. Um, but yeah... Generally, it's usually first appearance and a book at, you know, current times, basically, the release of the statue. So, uh, but in this case, they didn't. So, but anyway, the other side will also give you sculpt details, who designed it, made the prototype, things like that, heights and all that sort of uh, thing and all your trademarky type stuff. If there is two different versions or three different versions, I'll quite often have a picture of the different versions on there. The other thing of note is they'll always have an addition number underneath unless it's like an artist proof or or something like that or sometimes you might have lost it or you know it's getting knocked off sort of thing uh so this one here is only 1000 of these were made worldwide so for a mini bus it's actually quite small um generally most of the mini bus would range anywhere from three to four thousand up to about ten thousand uh so one thousand is actually a fairly small limited release especially for something that goes worldwide so anyway let's open it up and show you what it looks like all right, all right. all right 
And in most cases, it will either say up or it'll have the Bowen design symbol on there so you know which way to obviously open it up. Let's get this. All right, so it looks like it's all one piece. So there's no, most of the mini bus were usually one piece, but sometimes they may have had, you know, may have been holding something like a gun or a staff or a weapon of some kind. So that was always loose. Um, occasionally it'd have like a change of head. So there might be one like masked head and then one not masked head and things like that. But in most cases, most of them were just one mold, whether it's the full size generally Base is always separate from the main unit and then whatever else sort of comes with it. So at least I don't have to uh, put this one together. And there he is. So he's obviously in amongst all those skulls. So realistically the base itself, obviously very thin um, and not much detail of the base itself, but when you, if you classify all the skulls as the base, then it is very, very detailed. I don't know why I have a shadow either. That's all right. And there's his, you can see quite the detail in the fur, and in the hands, and then obviously in the face with the teeth. So very, very cool indeed. And then obviously, yeah, it gives you your edition number at the bottom. So that's 543 of 1000. And funnily enough, it actually says 1970s Wendigo just up there. I think they may have planned to do a more modern style version possibly, but I don't think they ever got around to it. But yeah, very, very cool. So that is the Bowen Designs Wendigo Mini Bust. Slightly more of a deep dive than your, obviously your mainstream characters, but still very cool at the same time. So anyway, that'll do for this particular video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do all the usual youtube -y stuff. Hit that thumbs up. You know, that one that looks like that, please just hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want to, but most of all, please, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So anyway, hope you enjoy the rest of your day and Spidey out.